Here we are today with the founder and MD of Valley Line. Let's find out about the history of this legacy brand from Mr. Narendra Anand. Hello. Tell us about the history of Valley Line. You see, Valley Line was formed in the year 2002. Uh, the basic motto for forming Valley Line was to cater to the niche market where there was a huge gap. There were a lot of aspirations of people who wanted something, but the products were not available. They didn't have access to that. So to fill that gap, Valley Line was formed. So the day one, the uh, goal or the motto of the company was to create lifestyle, to change lifestyle. We never sold products. We wanted to change the lifestyle, the way the people live, the way they use the products. So with, with that motto, we brought uh, all the global uh, top brands uh, to the country. It was a very tough journey. Acceptance was very tough. Uh, it was becoming very tough uh, to tell people they should shell out this money, the benefits and all those things. But we kept on going uh, the tougher way. And today we are reaping the benefits of what we sowed uh, way back in 2002. And we are really proud to say that uh, Value List is the only company with having more than 45 plus European brands under one roof. So it's uh, something like a history that all the brands under one roof and all the brands doing exceptionally well. So getting the brands is one thing and retaining those is very important. And we have been with those brands since uh, the day we brought each and every brand. So that uh, shows basically the dedication and strength we follow and our clients. Okay, that's a wonderful point. At Valley Line, we actually advertise being the only one that has so many brands under one roof. Would you like to tell us what is that criteria of choosing a certain brand that we work with? Yeah, actually there are two factors. One is the aesthetic point of view and second is the functional point of view. You see, a lot of products are chosen only from the design point of view. But functionally, they don't work. So we said, let's make a combination of that. You see, you today buy a product, spend thousand millions of rupees on that. And if it doesn't function up to the needs, as per the Indian standards. So this was one thing which was missing. So we did experiments on our own. We saw whether this is suitable or not. Educated the company. A lot of companies modified their products based on the feedback given to given by us. So even the big companies which we thought may not listen to us, but to understand the market, they modified and today they are very thankful to us that we guided them the right way. And today they are being sold in top of the star hotels, airports, everywhere. So this was the main criteria for choosing the brand, design and functionality. These two things are the most crucial. So that has been our criteria for selecting a brand, a product. Wonderful. So like you mentioned, we actually take pride in educating the Indian market as well as the brands to make sure that they adopt these new brands and the brands adopt the Indian market that is every day flourishing. Would you like to make a comment on how the Indian market has changed in the last five to seven years, how the customer has changed, more accepting towards buying luxury brands? Yes, there has been a drastic uh, change in the habits, the spending habits, the usage and everything. I think uh, thanks to, I would say, Corona, <laughs> that it has taught people a lot uh, while sitting at home that how can I improve further in the house. The most of the people went for renovation only during this time. So that was one thing. And the products what we sell, we used to tell them the hygiene and all those things. Today, all those things have come back to us, which we used to educate at that point of time. So so that, was, but that is the basic reason uh, uh, we chose this product. And the transformation was drastic. The spending capacity of the people have gone drastically up. There has been extensive foreign travels by Indians now. So they are exposed to more uh, new products. And when they travel abroad, they see and they come back to us. And when they see the same product is available here, they feel very happy and proud. Okay, we have the product and we don't need to scout, uh, venture out in the various countries, buy and run for after sales service. And we're the only company who give this service to this clients in in-house service because we do not have any answering machines or automatic uh, dials there's a person available you call and we are available 24 by 7. so this is how we are capturing the market and transformation so like you mentioned we take a lot of pride in our after sales services as well we've been doing the same for the past 20 years the company has gro grown so much but it is still a very much a family-owned company. We are the only corporate in this sanitary wear segment in the entire country 
but we still take pride that there is a person available to answer all your queries. We will never automate that. There will always be people. We treat our customers as the priority and we function just like that. Uh, yesterday, somebody asked me, how has COVID impacted your business? And I told them that we have only grown post COVID. Would you like to make a comment on that? Yes, uh, definitely we have grown multiple folds uh, post COVID. Because initially, we had these reservations that how the market would behave. But uh, post COVID has taught a lot of things to the people that whatever is there, you have to enjoy this in this life only. So that's why the spending power overnight increased and people want to enjoy life. So people have seen that anything can happen anytime. So whatever time they have, they wanted to have the best of uh, the resources available. So that is one thing which has helped a, a lot. And our business has definitely grown uh, unexpectedly uh, post COVID. I would say for everybody it has grown, yes. especially in the construction industry. There has been a big boom, not only in India, globally also I've seen. Uh, everywhere it's like that. So that's what they say. This was a blessing in disguise. So they said that with every adversity, there is a seed of equal and bigger opportunity. So that was for us. Beautiful. Uh, would you make a comment on the growing real estate in Hyderabad? Yes. Hyderabad, I think the growth of real estate has been exponential in Hyderabad. Uh, the aspirations of people were always there, but they were looking for somebody to give them yes. that uh, to meet their aspirations. And Suddenly, the builders of Hyderabad was very proactive. I would say they are so open to choose these all uh, global brands, give them a better experience. Although the selling price of Hyderabad is much lower compared to all the metros in the country. But the builders in Hyderabad are so open and so willing to spend that kind of money that they have raised the standard of this industry. Today, I had traveled across the country, but I have never seen such kind of specifications in any community, any builder in a country what Hyderabad builders are giving. Hats off to these guys who have changed the total scenario of uh, uh, this industry. And at Valley Line, we take pride in meeting all the all the specifications that these builders have. Uh, also, okay, one last question. What is our vision going ahead? Our vision is to become a, a national player first. That is where we want to be known. Anybody who constructs a house in this country should think about Valley Line. That's the vision.